The National Integrated Planning and Program Unit, NIP, in the Department of Finance, has partnered with the University of Oxford and the United Nations Office for Project Services, UNOPS, in the development of infrastructural planning tools aimed at strengthening evidence-based decision-making for the island's infrastructural development. During a training workshop to orient stakeholders to the innovative software, NIP's director Howard Wells noted that the unveiling represented a culmination of over two years of intense planning and research. He noted that one of the direct benefits is the breaking down of silos, which will lead to increased information sharing to significantly improve infrastructural planning for St. Lucia. Essentially, those tools would now help us to best do analysis. Where are we right now in terms of our infrastructure, in terms of our planning? And again, as was stated before, it's evidence-based. So we're using evidence, evidence that exists in several areas, right? but compiling those using the software and to help us in making sound decisions, decisions that would help, for instance, in our budgetary um, planning in the future. Like many other developing countries, St. Lucia is confronted by economic, demographic and climate change challenges which must be navigated. Researcher with the University of Oxford, Daniel Adshead, stated that the university has put together a number of tools which can help government plan for adaptable, resilient infrastructure. The tool that we've developed is called NISMOD, um, the uh, uh, National uh, Infrastructure Systems Model, and it's an interdependent tool. So it brings together data uh, from a number of sectors, electricity, water, wastewater, solid waste, and it allows users then to decide how much of each of these types of infrastructures will be required on the, on the island of St. Lucia in the future, and uh, what kind of investments or policies or projects can be built or implemented to meet these needs in the future. Lena Fuldauer, researcher with the Oxford team, spearheaded the adaptation planning component of the National Infrastructure Assessment. This involved understanding the exposure of the national infrastructure to many different hazards. So we looked at a one meter sea level rise scenario, a four meter storm surge scenario, as well as flash flooding and landslides to understand where to spend adaptation resources on across different sectors. She added that St. Lucia stands to significantly benefit from the information generated through the modeling software by applying to global climate funders such as the Green Climate Fund and spending those resources on adapting to the impact of climate change. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.